Hello everyone, I'm glad to be here to introduce my work, Neuro Cell Protection Counteracting Unauthorized Neuro Cell Transfer. Thanks to my collaborator Jie Ren, Han Xu, and Hui Liu from Michigan State University for their help. Uh, let's first introduce the background of this paper. Recently, Neuro Cell Transfer techniques have been developed to create new artwork. One can take an artist artistic style from a given source image and transfer it to generate a picture with a specific content from a given content image. As shown here, a style image, Starry Sky, is released on the public. A user could upload any content image, for example like this building image, to create a starry night-like building. With this development of such techniques, people could use any style of the artist, artist commercially make large revenue or even win competitions. So our arbitrary neural cells transfer model creates huge concern among the artist community. With the goal of protect of the copyright of artists, we try to propose a countermeasure for ANST. To achieve this goal, we first recall the ANST architecture. A common architecture contains an encoder F and a decoder G, and the encoder derives the style extractor and the decoder maps the adjusted style representation back into the input image space and generate output. The style representation of the content image, um, which is F, FC, is normalized by the um, mean and variance of the style, uh, of the source style image um, this representation, which is FS, and then the adjusted representation um, T will be sent to the decoder and get the final transferred image. Um, and then let's back to the protection problem. There are two different roles. The first one is artwork owner who released the artwork but doesn't want others to imitate. But and the style attacker who use art art uh, others artwork to generate transferred image. We further formulate the question like this. We set the goal of protection that we want to release the artwork which could decrease the performance of arbitrary style transfer methods but does not make a difference to the image in the human eyes. So we want to get this S plus delta where delta's infinity norm is less than a small epsilon. Like moreover, we want the protection to be generalized um, to any NST architecture since the Art artists won't know which model people will use to get image transfer. So we propose NSP to solve this problem. Before introducing NSP, let's recall the concept of adversarial attack, which proposed to attack machine learning model and mislead it to generate round output. PGD is a common method to achieve this goal, which optimizes attacking loss on perturbation to, uh, to the original input um, so um, this object is normally solved by a gradi gradient iterative process to gradually ascend the final loss. To achieve style protection, a straightforward protection objective could be optimizing the distance of protected transfer image and original transfer image with the absolute distance on the original style image, which is similar to the goal of uh, PGD. Uh, we call we will call this end-to-end um, -end optimization in the experiment part, and that is as a baseline for our method. We observe. Um, so let's begin. Uh, let's go into the method part. We deserve. Uh, we observe that different ANSV models often share a similar decoder, which is the style representation extractor. So style representation and style representation play an important role in the style transfer process. So that inspires us that we can target on the style representation as an alternative optimization objective to reduce the effect of diverse decoder. So according to this, we have two different strategies according to different uh, cases of the ANST architecture of the, how ANST extracts the style representation. For the case one, some um, some of ANSP model only use the style, uh, only use the style image to generate style representation, like uh, um, these two methods. Um, so we directly maximize the distance of the um, style representation between the attacked style image and the 
um, clean style image. And it can be expanded uh, uh, and uh, we choose MSE as the distance matrix D here. So it can, it's, it, it, it is shown like this. And also we um, choose MIC as the distance matrix D here. Uh, in other cases, some ANST models use the combination of some image um, and also content as the style image and also content image as the style representation. So um, uh, such as this method. So the formulation is uh, slightly different. Um, this phi um, prime here is the extractor of the style representation. Moreover, to improve generalization, we propose to assemble style representation from different encoders in NSP. So the objective is defined as the weighted sum of different laws from different models. Here, FI represents the encoder of each NST architecture and lambda i is the weight parameter. We use the gradient iterative method just as PGD to solve the problem. And empirically, we add a momentum term to each gradient step to improve general addition performance. With this method, we conduct experiment to test the performance. Uh, for a data set, we randomly select a subset of place um, place 365 dataset as content image and uh, star cell images are collected from WikiArt. In total, we create 10,000 style transfer images based on 1,000 different content images and 300 style images. And we use three different ANST representative ANST models for the um, known model in the generating NSP perturbation process and two different other NST model as unknown models only used in the test part. Uh, for the matrix, uh, we compare the distance of the protected generated image and the original images. Um, we use LPFPS and SSIM as the distance matrix to uh, compare their similarity. Let's first see the performance of the protection through visualization. We have this um, source content image and the source style image. We generated the NSP protection images like this, which is almost similar to the store's input image. And uh, the first column is the original style transfer image, and the last column is the NSP protected style transfer image. We can see the last column is very different from the original style and also very different from the original style protected image, which means that um, NSP can effectively protect the original style from um, transferred by other content. This is the quantitative measurement of our proposed method. We compare the similarity of the original transfer image to the protected one. Higher LP FPS and lower ISSIM indicates better performance. Uh, in general, NSP achieves better performance than the end-to-end -end baseline and uh, much better than some random noise like Gaussian noise and um, uniform noise. And for unknown models in the test phase, uh, we can see that our model also observes uh, effective performance on these two models that hadn't appeared in the perturbation generation process, where the end-to-end baseline almost show no generalization performance on the unknown models, uh, which shows the effectiveness of this assembling method. And this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening. And if there is any question, welcome to contact me for further ex explanation. Thanks again.